Hello and welcome to Football 360 on your number one sports hub, thepopare.com. The FA Cup 2016 quarterfinals have just ended with uh, Colombo FC, Renown SC, Army SC and Saunders SC booking their places in the semi-final of the FA Cup 2016. Colombo FC, the defending champions, already having a chance to defend their title. But uh, firstly, we thought uh, we'll look back at the four quarterfinals. Firstly, it's Colombo FC versus Hillary SC, the unheralded Hillary SC from MANA, starting from the first round and coming through the rounds and coming to the seventh round. And on their way, they defeated, they upsetted the Dialogue Champions League side, Super Sun SC, in the pre quarterfinal, winning that match 3 1, even after going down to 10 men. But uh, coming into the quarterfinal against Colombo FC, I thought Hillary SC were naive and weren't uh, ready for Colombo FC. They hadn't st studied how Colombo FC played and they paid for it, losing that match 15-1. Coming into this match, uh, Hillary SC had a good defensive record, conceding just uh, two goals and uh, scoring 12 in their seven matches. But uh, coming into the match against uh, Colombo FC, they started off with uh, three at the back, three, five, two formation, five midfielders and two attackers. While Columbia FC, their main attacking source comes from the two wings with Bodri Dimitri on the left, Danushka Madhushanka on the right, even along with uh, Tuan Rizni. So they exploited that weakness. They had the opportunities, they had the space to run onto and they created the chances, scoring four goals in the, inside the first 20 minutes against Hillary SC. So that did break the momentum of Hillary SC and uh, they paid for it, 15 goals they conceded and there was uh, no way of uh, them uh, coming into the match. Even in that match they had a couple of chances against uh, Colombo FC with uh, Deluxe getting a few chances but uh, Mohamed Imran proving to be vital at goal for Colombo FC. Talking about uh, Colombo FC, their main source of attack is uh, Bodri Dimitri. He is the one who is uh, creating the chances. There are a lot of players uh, to score the goals, including uh, Danush Kamadushanka, Zarvan Joha, AC Frank. And in that match, Dimitri, AC Frank, and Danush Kamadushanka scored a hat trick each. But uh, there is concern because uh, there are chances that uh, Bodri Dimitri would be leaving Colombo FC to play in Maldives. And uh, there aren't many players who could uh, create the chances, especially Zarvan Joho, who has the talent and the experience, but he's uh, found to be utterly inconsistent in these uh, couple of seasons uh, for Colombo FC. So he needs to prove his luck. He needs to prove his best in order to cement his place because he didn't play in that match against Hillary SC. He was uh, dropped to the bench by coach Mohamed Rumi. And in the coming weeks, and especially with the, the Dialogue Champions League starting in another few weeks' time, he needs to prove his worth, especially at that uh, attacking midfield role. Zarvan Joho would be vital for Colombo FC. <laughs> then the next quarterfinal, that was between Renown SC and the Javelin SC, the Crosstown rivals, and Renown SC proving to be too much and uh, too classy for Javelin SC with Renown winning 5-1. They led at halftime 3-0 and even though Javelin scored one goal back, they responded, Renown responded with two goals from uh, Mohamed Rifnas and Mohamed Aslam. Now talking about uh, Renown, their midfield with a mixture of youth and experience is a treat to watch. And uh, they, what I would uh, call, are the Barcelona of uh, Sri Lanka football with uh, Fazul Rahman, the former Sri Lanka midfielder, the veteran, along with uh, Mohamed Rifnaz and Fazal Mohamed, creating the chances, the tiki-taka football from a renown. And uh, it's entertaining from the likes of uh, football and uh, renown, gaining those goals, and especially Fazal Mohamed is in excellent form. He scored one goal, created two chances, and one of those chances created havoc in defense where Chamar De Silva scored an own goal. And uh, their defense is also rock solid with uh, Francis Agbeti and Hakim Kamil in uh, the central midfield positions. And overall, 
they are a side who can win this uh, FA Cup. But not so from uh, the Javelin side because uh, their defence is very weak, have been inconsistent uh, throughout the last uh, season or so. Even though they have uh, good defenders, their lack of communication and the tactical nows has uh, costed them dearly in the matches. And the lack of co confidence coming from the defence has uh, not uh, paved uh, well with the midfield and the attackers, even though they have a good midfield and attackers. And uh, talking about their forwards, it's uh, Naveen Jude, Afar Makram and uh, Mohamed Shabir, the youngsters. Mohamed Shabir is just uh, 17 years old, Naveen Jude and Afar Makram 19 year old, uh, playing for Sri Lanka under 19s. So they are proving their worth and uh, they've uh, come good, especially for Javelin. And, but uh, coming into the Dialogue Champions League in another few weeks' time, they need to strengthen their squad, and especially in defence, and uh, somehow uh, show their colours for the Slave Island lads. The third quarter-final was between Army SC and Air Force SC, and what a thriller it was. The match ended 2-2, and Army SC finally winning that match 4-3 on penalties. Army led 2-0. But uh, somehow Air Force SC made their comeback uh, courtesy of Kavindu Vishan who provided the assist for Dilshan Fernando for the first goal and then a moment of brilliance from him scoring that second goal and making a game out of it. For Army SC, it's always uh, Mohamed Izzadeen who is uh, clinically in front of the goal and two defensive errors from uh, Air Force SC giving the chance for Army to score those two goals. And uh, Kavind Vishan was excellent throughout the 90 minutes for Air Force, creating the two chances. And even in the first half, he got a few chances but was unable to convert. But uh, come the penalties, the heroes for either side, Izzadeen and Kavind Vishan, became villains after they missed their own penalties. But uh, it was Nilanka Kumara who became the hero for Army SC, saving three penalties and uh, giving the win for Army SC and booking their place in the semi-final once again. <laughs> the fourth and final quarter-final between Saunders SC and Blue Star SC. Saunders a dominating Blue Star, a lackluster Blue Star and winning that match 1-0. The match was postponed because of uh, adverse weather conditions and the kickoff was also delayed due to a short but a heavy rainfall at the Racecourse International Stadium. But uh, that didn't hamper Saunders' play as they dominated play from the get-go while Blue Star were clueless in their play. Saunders, with the addition of the three foreigners, Traore Mohammed, Abdul Mohammed, and uh, Niagran Yudes, has uh, strengthened their squad and there's confidence in them going forward. And they've uh, proved that winning that Mayor's Cup end of last year. But I thought uh, playing Suntararaj Niresh on the wing is a not good idea for Saunders SC because he is a playmaker and he needs to play in the central midfield position or in an advanced attacking midfield positions, which is uh, now taken by their skipper Sanoj Samira and Sajid Dharmapala. While for Blue Star, they have a very weak midfield and attackers, especially Mohammed Najim and E.B. Channa, even though they are veteran players, are old and uh, their legs aren't uh, proving well for Blue Star. They need to support Rangana Silva in the midfield and uh, they need to bring in and uh, strengthen their squad. And they only played uh, four centre-backs in that uh, match against uh, Saunders with uh, Naziri Opaimi, Mohamed Rif Khan, Fahir Ali and uh, Shivanka also playing. Even Fahir Ali played at uh, central midfield positions. So that shows how weak the squad is for Blue Star and going forward come the Champions League, they need to strengthen their squad and uh, especially in inject some youth into the side. And uh, talking about uh, the cultural lads, have a lot of uh, schools uh, where they can inject the youth, especially uh, Nilesh Kumara, who plays uh, for the under-19 youth squad and uh, he will be a vital addition for Blue Star SC come the Dialogue Champions League. While for Saunders, 
Well, they'll be playing their rivals, Renown SC, in the semi-final on the 28th, while Colombo FC will meet Army SC once again, a repeat of last year's semi-final on the 20th, 28th as well. So do join us on thepapara.com, Sri Lanka's premier sports hub, as we bring you live action from the Racecourse International Stadium on the 28th. The, both the matches, 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. kickoff, and the final on the 3rd of uh, June. That's also live on thepapara.com. So until then, this is me, Navod Vijayvikrama, signing off for thepapara.com, sharing the passion. <laughs>